what is up guys and welcome back to another day with the auto works now a lot of people have heard of candy paint jobs and a lot of people have tried to do it various different ways but two words you never hear together are candy and we're stolen so today i'm going to be tempting what i've done research on and realized it's probably the world's first rust-oleum candy paint job now i looked at it and if you understand candy and how it works and how it is it's transparent and you usually shoot a candy base over a metallic base and it works like a tri-coat where you do it in three stages with the clear on top so i was thinking well since the candy base is translucent what could i use for a candy base and i thought about it and bam epoxy liquid pigments now they're translucent uh, you see them used a lot of times in countertops and stuff like that and i thought hey that might make for a good solid base you put some of that in clear mix a little bit of pearl in the same color to kind of give it a little bit more coverage and you can get a poor man's candy paint job out of that and that's exactly what we're going to try today guys like i said this could be an epic win could be an epic fail i don't know but we're sure going to find out we're going to learn together and let me show you what we got to spray everything on Yes guys, you are not dreaming, the hood is back. And as you've seen, I've laid out four different colors. Three of which are Rust-Oleum and one of which it isn't, but I needed a good metallic base. And I wanted to give a good variation between different bases so that you guys could actually see and tell if this works or not. All right, so to start off with, we got a gold base, because like I said, candy base needs to be metallic. Gold base, silver base, gunmetal base, and just for giggles, I decided to do the primer color because, hey, everybody loves the primer color. But like I said, we got four different bases. So I went ahead and laid it out. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix up the pearl. And we're going to mix up the candy pigment stuff and mix it all together and see what we can create. And I think it's better just to show you. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so as I said, candy paint jobs, the mid coat, which has the candy and all the pretty stuff in it, is translucent. And I've got these little bottles. Uh, I've got a bunch of different colors. I think I spent 20 bucks off of uh, Amazon for it. And you can get a whole bunch of different ones. It comes with about half an ounce. Um, I do know there's a lot of candy companies out there that make uh, specialty concentrates you can get. They're about eight fluid ounces to a gallon. So I've got little mixing cups. I'm gonna just have to kind of add it into it and see what we can come up with. And uh, like I said, this is all trial and error, guys. So as far as the load goes, we might get it right the first time. If not, I'll have to do more coats. But the whole cool thing about it is, it's just a learning experience to see if this actually works. And hey, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, all right. So the two colors I've chosen to do today well, it's close to Christmas, but red and green. Uh, mainly because everybody loves a good candy apple red paint job, and that hot rod green is a really cool one too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load each one of these cups up with some clear real quick, mix in some activator, and then we'll add these dyes in. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, so I got my clear mixed up, and this is the pigment I'm gonna be using for the red. I'm gonna do these one at a time. So this is red, as you can see. And basically, you just squirt it in. So I squirt it in and mix it up. And as you see, before your eyes, it is changing the color. And we're getting some color. So I'm gonna give it a little more. I wanna make sure it has plenty of dye in it because like I said, I wanna get good coverage. I don't wanna have to do a million coats of clear. And I don't know, we're just, experimenting so like i said i use this whole bottle if i got to but the whole point of this is just to see if we can get this to work all right it's showing a little bit of red now yeah we're getting there now i want this to be real deep red so like i said i'm gonna honestly guys i'm, I'm going for it i'm putting the whole bottle in it's a little bottle it's not a whole lot to it that is the whole bottle. This is 0.35 ounces. So, 
Mix this up really good. Check the stick. Oh yeah, that's definitely getting some tint now. All right, now I have a little bit of cherry left over from a past video where I shot the uh, yellow and the orange fender. So we're gonna add some of that in. Just to give it that extra little pop. I'm not gonna put a whole, whole lot because I do want the red pigment to be the dominant on this. So I can put a little bit in there. Mix it up. And I do expect this to get kind of give it that sheen because I want to go candy apple red. You know, that's kind of what we're going for here. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to quit stalling and uh, let's put it in the gun. Let's shoot it and let's see what we got. Make or break. Epic win or epic fail. Let's see. Alright guys, so that's the candy paint job spray out. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, personally, I think it turned out alright. I think there's much needed room for improvement, especially with the green. It wasn't nearly saturated enough. The red actually turned out alright. So, but you know, like I said, this channel is all about trial and error, guys. We learn together our successes and fails. It happens. It is what it is, and uh, we keep moving on. But uh, now you know, so you don't necessarily have to go out and try it for yourself unless this is what you want. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys all subscribing and watching and checking me out. You know, we've grown exponentially this year uh, by many, many viewers, and I'm just really proud to say that we have an awesome channel, and there's tons of fun stuff to come. Uh, the new year is going to bring in a lot of new opportunities for Whitley Auto Works and a lot of cool new builds. And I hope you guys are ready for it, guys. But uh, I appreciate you guys for watching today. I hope you'll like, share, comment, and subscribe on this. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Y'all have a great day and God bless.